Have you experienced getting up close with whales in the open ocean or imagined how a stew can cook underground using only the Earth's heat? Or maybe you're curious about a festival where the streets burst into life with music and fireworks. Hello explorers, welcome to the Azores Portugal. Stick around because in today's video, we are exploring this marvelous island, giving you essential tips and a 5-day itinerary packed with the best experiences. Plus, don't miss out on our exclusive bonus tip for an even richer adventure. The Azores, a Portuguese archipelago in the Atlantic Ocean, is composed of nine volcanic islands. These islands offer breathtaking scenery with active volcanoes, dense woodlands, and abundant sea life. The area is also noted for its historical significance, including the UNESCO-listed town of Angra do Heroísmo. The local cuisine highlights fresh seafood and famed Azorean cheese, complemented by a budding wine industry at Pico Island. All these make the Azores a diverse destination perfect for travelers who want adventure, relaxation, and culture all in one place. With this charming backdrop in mind, here are 10 essential things to know and what to expect before planning your trip to the Azores. Number 1. The Azores isn't the party hotspot. Expect a calm atmosphere with modest local hangouts rather than large nightclubs or high-end bars, ideal for relaxing and enjoying simple pleasures, not for extravagant lifestyle. Number 2. The weather in the Azores is unpredictable. Located in the Atlantic, the climate can shift dramatically from sunshine to storms within hours. Prepare for all conditions and use the Spot Azores app for real-time updates. Number 3. Volcanic activity is everywhere in the Azores. You'll see black sand beaches, steamy geysers in Furnas Valley, and the moon-like surface of Capilinas Volcano. Enjoy meals cooked underground and relax in warm thermal springs, often described as a human soup experience. Number 4. Rent your own car in the Azores. Taxis and private guides can be costly, and buses between towns are infrequent and don't reach major sites. Due to high demand, especially in summer, book your rental car as soon as you arrange your flights. Number 5. It's always time for tea in the Azores. This is the only spot in Europe where tea is grown commercially. Visit tea farms like Goriana or Porto Formoso on São Miguel Island started in 1883. You can tour the farms, walk through the tea fields, and buy tea boxes to take home as gifts. Number 6. Expect different beaches in the Azores. Unlike the typical white sand beaches, these are dark and volcanic, often grayish black. This affects the water's visibility and the beaches have rougher waves. Thanks to the Gulf Stream, sea temperatures can reach a warm 23 to 24 degrees Celsius in summer, cooler in winter. Number 7. Your budget will stretch far in the Azores. While slightly pricier than mainland Portugal, Due to its isolated location, it's still affordable compared to many places. You can manage on less than $100 a day, covering your stay, food, and travel. Here's an idea of prices. A meal for two with wine around 40 euros, coffee from 70 euro cents, local beer at 1 euro, a whale watching tour for 65 euros, and a double room per night for 80 euros. Number 8. Pack smart for the Azores. Wear practical and comfortable clothes with sturdy shoes and a light rain jacket. Avoid flip-flops. They're not suited for slippery trails or city streets. Bring essentials like a rain jacket, a reliable phone case, and cameras for capturing your adventures. Number 9. Get used to simpler facilities. There are no big malls, fancy restaurants, or busy nightclubs. It's a chance to break from everyday life Enjoy nature and adjust to the local way of life, even with weaker Wi-Fi. Number 10. Take your time when visiting the Azores. Instead of rushing to see everything, slow down and enjoy the beauty around you. Make room for unplanned detours, relax by a lake, or spend a whole day on a hiking trail. More time in fewer places makes the trip better. Now that you're prepared for the trip, let's explore a 5-day itinerary that shows you the best of the Azores. 
And while you're here, please click the subscribe button to keep you updated with our latest adventures. Welcome to your first day in Sao Miguel. After landing, possibly with the layover in Lisbon, you'll find yourself in the heart of Punta Delgada. I recommend finding a cozy spot to stay, one that offers insights through the Spot Azores app, getting you ready for what's ahead. Your adventure starts on the ocean with Futurismo, where you'll get up close with whales and dolphins. Choose between a big catamaran or a more intimate small boat experience, and learn fascinating facts about the sea creatures from the crew. After the sea, take a stroll around Ponta Delgada. This city is not just about beautiful views, it's about living sustainably and you'll see how. When hunger strikes, head to Alcides for their unbeatable fried steak. It's a delicious way to wrap up your day. On day 2, we're diving deeper into Sao Miguel's incredible natural wonders. Get your hiking boots ready because we're heading to Janela do Inferno a hike that reveals stunning views you won't forget. Then, soak in the warm, healing waters of Caldera Vela's hot springs, a perfect way to relax after your hike. For the thrill-seekers, canyoning awaits, offering an adrenaline rush as you navigate through the island's rugged terrain. When hunger sets in, Atasca is the place to be for their mouth-watering seared tuna, a local favorite that's sure to impress. After a day full of adventure and delicious food, Hotel Verde Mar and Spa welcomes you with comfortable rooms and modern amenities, setting the stage for even more exploration. Day 3 takes us to a truly special spot, the Cha Goriana Tea Plantations. It's not every day you get to see where your tea comes from, especially in Europe. Here, you'll learn all about the unique way tea is grown and processed, right in the middle of the Atlantic. After sipping some fresh tea, we'll head to Miradoro de Santa Iria, one of those places that make you stop and stare. The views over Sao Miguel's lush, green landscapes are breathtaking. It's moments like these that really make you feel connected to a place far beyond just visiting. Day 4 takes us to Fornas, a place where you can clearly see the power of the earth. Explore volcanic activities, Feel the heat under your feet and watch steam come from the ground. The main event? Trying cocido, a local stew that is cooked slowly by the Earth's natural heat. It's a great example of how locals use their unique environment to prepare food. Next, relax in the Terra Nostra Gardens. This is a powerful spot with hot baths set in beautifully arranged gardens. As you relax in the warm water, surrounded by unusual plants, you'll feel totally relaxed. On day 5, you go beyond Sao Miguel to explore another beautiful place in the Azores, Tercera Island. Here, you explore the center of Agra do Heroismo, a UNESCO World Heritage Site full of history and busy streets. You wander through the pretty streets, looking at colorful buildings and the old fortifications that tell stories of ancient battles and explorations. Next, you visit Algar do Carvao, an old lava tube that takes you deep into the earth. This amazing place, with hanging rock formations and clear water pools, shows the volcanic roots of these islands. As the day goes on, you also try some of Tercera's local foods, enjoying dishes that combine the best of the land and sea. Day 5 is a day of new discoveries, offering new sights, tastes, and stories showing you that every part of the Azores has its own surprises. In our exclusive bonus segment, we reveal the Azores special feature, the Santo Cristo Festival on Sao Miguel. This event hits its peak in May, picture music, dancing, and fireworks lighting up the Atlantic. It's a yearly spring bash where you can dive deep into local vibes, mingle with friendly folks, and really get a taste of Azorean life. It's a real slice of Azorian fun and warmth. And that concludes our journey through the enchanting Azores. Now we turn the spotlight to you. What are your thoughts? Share your impressions or any questions in the comments below because we'd love to hear from you. Curious about exploring beyond the Azores? In our next video, we'll dive into the essential things to know and do in Glacier National Park, an adventure you won't want to miss. So stay tuned and let's continue to uncover the world's hidden treasures together.